Hello, Gemini. I hope this finds you well. This is your September 2021 monthly tarot reading using the Santa Muerte tarot. If you have anything in Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, this may resonate with you. Or if you got a lot of stuff in the third house, but I do recommend watching for your moon sign. And if that does not resonate, watch for your Mercury. Six cards for Gemini. Uno mas. Bueno. Page of Pentacles. Is that the Eight of Pentacles? It is my favorite relationship card, the Eight of Pentacles. Ocho de Oros. Nine of Wands, Nueve de Bastos. King of Wands, Rey de Bastos. Knight of Wands, Caballo de Bastos. And the Emperor. This is funny. Almost every Zodiac reading so far for this month, I started with Virgo. There are two signifiers in each spread. I mean, technically the Page of Pentacles is a signifier, but I take Kings, Queens, and Knights. So we have the King of Wands next to the Knight of Wands. There's a lot of fire. The fire dominates the six card spread. King of Wands, Knight of Wands, the Emperor, which is Mars, Aries, and Nine of Wands. Bottom row is off fire. So, you could have this really hot, intense connection with someone uh, who has a lot of fire in their natal chart. I'm seeing Aries, of course, but it could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. There could be a bit of an age gap. This is a really strong, intense sexual attraction. There's a bit of a power struggle here, but I am seeing tremendous potential for a deeply gratifying, mutually beneficial relationship. As I said, Eight of Pentacles is my favorite relationship card. Why? Because it's about two people who truly respect and like each other. So it's not just sex. It's not just hearts and flowers and romance. There's mutual respect. The sex is good. It's consistent. Communication's good. It's consistent. Um, I see it as two people who are sharing a home. You're sharing resources or you're working toward that. You're paying bills together, you're running errands together, you're doing laundry together, and the mundane becomes magical because of who you're with, and you're both prioritizing the relationship. This could be someone you've known for quite some time. It could be years, and you're finally getting to this good place where you're solid, you're on the same page, you want the same thing, you want this monogamous, substantial, committed relationship. I don't really need to clarify, but I'll do an energetic summation. Please provide an energetic summation for Gemini, three additional cards. It's like I was saying for one of the other readings, when it's this positive, it's challenging to talk about. It's a lot easier to talk about when it's negative, when it's problematic. An energetic summation for Gemini, Trace Moss, three cards, four, five, four. Judgment keeps showing up.
Maybe there's some minor concern. I don't know because this is not a typical couple. Maybe um, you come from different cultures. There could be an age gap. When the energy's good, it's good. I don't think there's any reason to trip on things like different cultures or ethnicities or an age gap. I think it's ridiculous to focus on that or worry about how you're going to look on Instagram or Facebook or what your family's going to think. I mean, yeah, I guess those are valid concerns, what your family's going to think. How are you going to fit in with each other's families? But if the energy's good, it's good. If you love each other, you love each other. If you like each other and you have things in common, then go with that. That's just my uh, point of view, my perspective. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. Strong Sagittarius energy. The Empress. A lot of Major Arcana, a lot of Sagittarius energy, and we have now the Emperor and the Empress. I feel like, according to these cards, this is a really good match. This is a partnership of two equals. I don't see the problem here. It could be interfering people. Um, religion could play a factor. I'm thinking of Valley Girl, the original Valley Girl with Nicolas Cage from the early 80s. Kind of cheesy, but I like the music, I like the soundtrack, and I like the couple, Randy and Julie, and I like the ending. There is a, a moment in the movie where... Um, Julie was worried about what her friends were going to think if she chose Randy over, I think it was Tommy, the popular guy at school or whatever. But she chose Randy in the end, and that was a good choice because they were soulmates or twin flames. I don't really trip on the the labels or anything, but um, I don't go on and on and on about twin flames and soulmates. They were just a really cute couple and their energy was just good. And I'm seeing good energy here. I'm seeing two people who are in sync. It's not just a sexual attraction. It's not just good sex, although that's good. It's good to be with someone you have good sex with. But there's more going on here. There are layers upon layers to this connection. And it looks like you have all the stuff you need to create something substantial that's going to be deeply gratifying that lasts. So stay with it, if this resonates at all. If this resonates at all, lucky you, you got a good thing going. That's what I got for Gemini, I hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching, peace out.